Hi everyone, Trueblade Base here, and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we got here at Magmore Caverns and started getting some more stuff, and we are back here in the geothermal core where we are hopefully going to be finally proceeding without any more technical problems. So, first up, you want to climb up here and use your grapple beam to swing across over here. Up onto this platform here. Now, get into your morph ball, and you have to use your booster, the, the boost ball, to, for, the, for that there. Notice how the music changed too with all this. We're in the middle of a big, of a bit of a puzzle here. So, go over here to this one, and same thing, and big one here. Whoa! All right. Yup. Yup. All right. Notice the spider ball track over there. So, there should be one more over here, and okay, yeah, we got it. Come on, yeah! There it is! Sp okay, here we go. Now that we're up here... Okay, actually, good question. What do we... Okay, th there it is. Th there it is, up here. Jump up over here, and it looks like a bomb slot here. So just drop a bomb? Or is it... Yep. Yeah. Not the spinner, the... And it activates this thing here to reveals that there's a lot more to the geothermal core than meets the eye. Okay, now get your scan visor ready, and this is one of the few chances you have to scan this creature here. But unfortunately, they do not stay in their your range for too long. And here we go. This is the plated parasite. They're basically the same thing as before, except they're. It, however, you can beat them with your morph ball, with your morph ball bombs. However. These shouldn't be too much of a problem, really, because for the most part, you can avoid them here. Okay, so we got this long morph ball thing to deal with. You have the time letting go and and pushing the button again for this. Though this is a this is a part you really don't want to mess up because remember, there's still lava down there, and you have to get all the way back up here. Just to try again. Okay. Get up there. At least you don't have to stay on the track. So that, like the any part, the, all this area here is like the part of the magnetic system. So you can still go here. Good. Go over here. Have the button ready. Okay. Let's go up here. As long as you're holding the button as you're rolling down, you should be fine. Drop down over here. Drop down. This is a little t sort of tedious part. Now this here, you don't have to stay on the track. You just you can be on any part of that wall here. Makes dodging these plated parasites a bit easier. Okay, but now you just gotta bomb your way up here, and we got a big one here. So let go and hold on to that button. Okay, I, th I think we're good. Just a little further. This is an area you really don't want to mess up. Let's see here. Let's get, let's get up here. I'm not I'm not chancing and I'm just like holding on to it. And over here, just drop down. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. You watch that. Well, power bomb should be okay here, and uh, as you see here, we got an upgrade here, so. What do we get? Oh, it's another weapon. With the in our arm cannons now got this red tinge to it. What the Plasma beam acquired. Oh, yes! I love it. Hit the right button. Okay, plasma beam. This is a fast. This is a fast attack, and it's also a fire-based one. Yeah, fitting. We get the fire-based one in the in the lava area. Yeah, <laughs> I never would have guessed that. Okay. Well, now we have the plasma beam, so I'm gonna go on ahead and go this way. Now that we have the plasma beam he from here, I believe we actually have. Th this is everything in Magmore Caverns now. We. I don't think there's anything else. Then. But yeah, we. Yeah, I believe at this point we have gotten everything in Magmore Caverns. I don't. Th the only reason we have to come back here is to basically go between different areas. Now that we have the plasma beam, I think. 
there's actually a lot we can do before we go get our next upgrade. You can go straight to it if you want. However, I'm going to go ahead and start getting, start gathering all those little extras. It's just going to make everything a lot easier. Okay, here we go. Back in Talent Overworld. Now, there isn't a whole lot much else here in Talent Overworld either. So, we've already taken care of most of that. First, I'm going to be... Let's start heading back up here, and it's like, yeah, we're, this game is finally starting to reach its end. Actually, we're starting to hit the last parts of this game. It's like we only got like we only have like one major upgrade left, and then we just gotta get the artifacts. However, before we go any further with the uh, with the major upgrade, I'm gonna go on ahead and just basically start. We're gonna start getting a lot of upgrades. This is gonna make things infinitely easier, especially with some of the tough fights here. Oh, and I love this. VAPORIZE! <laughs> I love that. Yeah, charge plasma beam shot can vaporize. Can, can vaporize enemies. Get your invisible platforms there. Okay, come on. Get the invisible platforms here. Alright. Okay, there's nothing the platform. Get the right visor! Can I go one episode without messing up the visors? Okay. Up there. Is there anything up there? No, there isn't. So I'm going to have to basically take a, a big leap. Okay, let me see. Let me make it. Let me make it. And... Uh, no! I'll be right back. Alright, we're here again. So let's go ahead and get up over there. And th let's do it right this time. Come on. Let's get up here. Space up. Let's space up the jump better. One. Yeah! Much better. And up that way for a missile expansion. Much better. Alright. We got that. Now, I believe that is everything in Talent Overworld for now. As far as upgrades go, we're gonna. I'm gonna go. How this is gonna work is I'm gonna start getting stuff in the. I'm gonna start off with the Chozo Ruins. And then I'm going to go to Fendrana Drifts to pick up upgrades. For all that, so... We're going to be getting everything here. Okay, oh, first... VAPORIZE! <laughs> oh, that never gets old. That does not get old. But, in any case, I'm going to see you guys in the Chozo Ruins. Okay, here we are in the Chozo Ruins again. Now let's begin the big item collection for this. For those of you who want me just to get on with the main story, I apologize. I just think this way is easier to do things. Well, okay, okay. You know what? Tell you, Beetle, you get the honor of the. Oh, I missed! You get the honor of the Vaporize! <laughs> I love this. I love the plasma beam. Let's go ahead this way and uh, oh crud, it's getting dark. Chozo ghosts! Ah crud! One super missile! Come on! Just alright, the charge beam shot this down. Now where's that other one? Come on! Oh hey buddy! Way out over there! Come on! Hey buddy! Come on! That was seriously it. Okay. Yeah, Chozo, this is another area where Chozo Ghost will start appearing regularly, so... Actually, wait. No, I don't want the... Do I? I already got that. So... Let's go up over this way here. This way, I said. No! Come on. Why is... Why is this a problem now? Alright, then the... WHY IS THIS A PROBLEM?! <sighs> oh, why? Why? Okay. Yeah. Guess we're heading back to where we got the Wave Buster. In case you haven't noticed. But, you remember how there's that underwater part that we couldn't do quite yet? Well, now that we have the gravity suit and finally get back to this area, we can do that now. 
you can now double jump up this way here, where you can leap up and uh, artifact. Artifact acquired. All right, we're getting there with the Chozo artifacts. No, not let's not go to the logbook. Come on, let's go down. Let's go. Okay, that's it for now, so I'm... P There's gonna be a, lo a good bit of backtracking in this part of things, so... I'm probably gonna cut, be cutting some of this out. Especially as, especially as it gets tedious, and... I have not have to fight you guys again! You're chosen- You're ghosts! Why can't- Don't you stay dead? This is also the part of the game that I don't like, because it's... It's pretty tough to remember exactly which ones you've... Which ones you have gotten or not. So, at least I have that problem. So I might be heading back to areas that I've already been to before. And this area here, you, we, you couldn't even set foot in here until you had the grapple, until you had the very suit. But now we, you couldn't even get far without the, the grapple being too. Now that we have that. First, drop over here. Power bomb. Big boom. <laughs> and uh, oh, well, first of all, we get the power bomb expansion here. But second, we have more Chozo lore! What's this one? The power of our temple and the twelve artifacts is sealed in evil in the depths of this planet. However, clouded to us, the world of evil protects dark apparitions flit in the shadows. Within this strange world... Go this is going too fast, so... The shadows. We chose not know who, what it is, but our hearts swell with hope of glowing light. This basically is... This basically is like them, they're basically seeing the figure... Seeing Samus in their visions come to the planet. Further proof that Samus is Samus is the chosen one. Okay, over here. There's a hidden tunnel here behind those plants. It's actually a pretty easy one to miss. In fact, I don't even think this one's marked on the map, actually. Get get through there. Yeah, I don't even think that one's marked. Yeah, I don't even see it on the map. Okay, now we go through here and Are you serious? Get your get your X-ray visor and super missiles ready, and just start blasting away at these. Just blast away at these ghosts. Okay. Hey, you missed. Hold. St there we go. Where to go? Hold still. There we go. Okay. That activates. That that allows those bomb slots to be revealed. I also think we were locked in too, so... Yeah, just boost your way around this way. Go up to these... What do you want to do? Which one, which one is it? Get... Let me just pick... Just get up to one of them! Thank you! Alright! There we go. Oh, it... What time are you serious? Okay, thankfully it didn't take long. So get up to that track all the way over here and over here. Well worth it because you get an energy tank. I mean, if nothing else, if you, if you want to go for 100%, I still recommend getting all the energy tanks because that will just make your life a lot easier for these later parts of the game. Now, I believe this is the one we hadn't hit yet. Yeah, there we go, and that oh, reveals that way out. So, there's nothing else we can get in here, so let's get going. Go through here, and we got this little morph ball tunnel here. Come on. Move faster! Too slow! Come on. For those of you on the GameCube version, I feel sorry for you, because you have to wait for these things. Or, else you or, or you could t try to time your morph ball jump really well. We users, you got the spring ball to easily go. There. Okay, but now that we come up over here, and that missile expansion here, way out over here. And thanks to that, we can now. We, thanks to grappling, we can now get that. I haven't taken that detour. Okay, this actually seems to be a good place to end off. So next time on. Metro Prime, we're going to be getting more upgrades, so see you guys then.